Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pathology of the gangrene. What is gangrene? Gangrene is a type of necrosis with superadded putrefaction. Gangrene is the, is the death of tissue, usually in considerable mass, generally with loss of vascular nutritive supply and followed by bacterial invasion and putrefaction. What are the common clinical types of gangrene? We have dry gangrene, that is a coagulative necrosis, wet gangrene, that is a liquefactive necrosis, and it is it goes with bacterial infection. Cash gangrene is a special type of gangrene. There is formation of gas and damage to the tissue caused by Clostridium perfringens, especially by type C. So here is the dry gangrene. This is the wet gangrene. Gangrene may be caused by the vascular insufficiency due to any vascular disease. There is blockage of the blood vessels. It is a common finding also in diabetes mellitus, in Barger's disease, or exposure to extreme cold as a complication of some medication like ergot. So, this is dry gangrene. There is usually a line of demarcation. Color is changed due to death of the cells and here is the wet gangrene wet gangrene there is always bacterial infection and this is swelled up this is some type of liquefactive necrosis so what is gas gangrene Necrosis accompanied by gas bubble in the soft tissue after trauma of surgery or, or maybe trauma, maybe surgery. Both is possible to cause gas gangrene, maybe caused by trauma or maybe caused by surgery or maybe due to surgical trauma caused by anaerobic bacteria, acute severe painful condition often result from dirty lacerated wound and involvement of soft tissue. Accumulation of gas and serosanguinous fluid, odor like rotten apple, smell like rotten apple from here. This is managed by surgery, especially debridement, taking out the necrosis tissue antibiotic, broad spectrum antibiotic and by hyperbaric oxygen because this is an anaerobic bacteria in the presence of hyperbaric oxygen this bacteria will die out and this is the appearance of gas gangrene. there is collection of gas it involves the soft tissue contact tissue muscle or layers of the soft tissue and this is the appearance it may be due to surgery it may be due to any type of trauma maybe any type of lacerated wound there may be gas gangrene an outcome is very fatal if it is not treated very quickly we have different type of gangrene just it may be due to atherosclerotic gangrene, blood vessel has been blocked due to atherosclerotic deposition, may be a part of peripheral vascular disease, it may be associated peripheral vascular disease plus the diabetes mellitus, long standing diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes, embolic gangrene is possible due to vascular problem. There are blood, blood, blood disease, some type of blood coagulatic problem, or some type of pathology, 
the there may be embolus that may lead to bulbulus in the intestine that may lead to gangrene in the, of the intestine that may be very fatal especially in the intestine and bulbulus if it is not managed surgically very quickly outcome will be very fatal cold gangrene this type of gangrene happen without any type of inflammatory sign no inflammation but exposure to cold extreme cold there may be cold gangrene circumscribed gangrene we have line of demarcation between the healthy tissue and unhealthy tissue gangrenous tissue non-gangrenous tissue ergot gangrene is also possible if a complication of ergot that may lead to lead to vasoconstriction and that lead to gangrene Barger's disease yes it is a disease in the smoker especially in certain part of the world especially southeast asia and in the barefooted people they may have this type of gangrene especially involving the toes maybe in the finger mostly in the toes and there may be amputation gradually it may be auto amputation or managed by amputation this is a special type of gangrene fourniers gangrene it involves the penis scrotum and the perineum this area penis scrotum perineum it may happen both male and female here is the male okay necrotizing fasciitis of the penis here the skin already has been sloughed out from here scrotum or perineum okay in female perineum we may have fornier gangrene that is possible this is a rare disease but possible caused by enteric bacilli gram positive organism anaerobic organism and urinary tract infection okay that may be a cause so we'll get that trauma operative procedure or inflammation in the body in the distant part distal part, part inflammation that may go here and that may lead to four years gangrene and that's all about the types of gangrene so gangrene is a type of necrosis with superadded putrefaction it is not very much specific there may be overlapping and it is caused by many reasons due to lack of blood flow due to extreme diet due to the uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and there may be some type of bacterial infection there may be some embolism so there could be tissue death and superadded putrefaction may be seen in smoker in the barefooted people in certain part of the world it may be even caused by a certain type of flea that actually goes to the subcutaneous tissue between the toes so there are many reasons for gangrene and types the general type are dry wet and gas gangrene we have other like that of four years gangrene especially in the in the scrotum perineum penis area okay it may be due to some drug intoxication like ergot poisoning okay and that's all about the pathology of the gangrene if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now